Hi, and welcome to DiffBot's tutorial on creating a custom API using our custom API toolkit. The custom API toolkit lets you extract just about any data from just about any website you choose. And uh, we'll walk you through a simple example today. So the first thing, once you're ready, is go ahead and log on into our developer dashboard and then head on over to Customize and Correct, which lets you do just that, customize, correct, augment our existing APIs, or in this case, create an entirely custom API for extracting entirely custom data. Once in there, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and create our rule. And as part of that, we will be creating our custom API. So now, in this dropdown, I'm going to go ahead and pick custom API, and I'll give it a name. And what we're going to extract is, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the trending links, or the what's hot items from Mashable.com. So I'll go ahead and type Mashable.com into the URL field here, and we'll give it a test. And you'll see, that first off, well, nothing comes back, but that's because this is a brand new API with no fields created, so there's nothing really to return from this page yet. So let's go ahead and... Uh, and remedy that. Now, what I'm doing here first is I'm creating a custom collection. Now this is because from this particular page I want a number of links returned. I'm going to grab all of the, the trending or what's hot articles from Mashable.com and so that's a collection of multiple items. I want repeated items from this page so the first thing I need to do is create a collection to contain all of those. And so I'll click custom collection and this will open up our window where we can preview the site from which we want to extract that data. And I can give my collection a name. Uh, and so we're going to call this our trending links collection. It's going to contain all of the trending links and related information. And once I've named it, we need to give the custom API toolkit an idea of what an individual item within this collection looks like. These are the items that are going to be repeated in this collection. And so in this case, I want the entire article content, each article object represented here. I'm going to grab multiple fields from each article. So I'm going to pick the article object here. Notice that it's automatically populated the CSS selector, and I'll save that down. And we've suddenly got our trending links collection created. And now we need to add some fields to this so we can extract some data. So the first thing we'll We'll get out of each article the title. We'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll grab the H1 and notice that we've got this extra ID here, column hot, which is because this is part of a collection, it's duplicative. We've already identified that each article is the column hot article. Each object there uh, has that ID already. So all we need to do is grab the H1, the header from each object there, so I can get rid of that extra ID and just extract the H1 element. And I'll save that, and we've already started to return data from our API. There's our title, and you can click this link to preview all of the results that are coming back from Mashable.com. But let's go ahead and round out our API. Why don't we grab each link, the link address from each article title. I can also, I can again, remove this extra ID. I just want the anchor tag. And then to get the link, the actual location value, I'm going to need to get the attribute, the href attribute. I don't want the text contained within the anchor tag. I want the href attribute. So I'll add a filter, of an, an attribute filter, and I will enter href, the filter I want to grab. And you can see that, saving this out, suddenly I've got all the links populated for each of my trending links objects. And we'll do one more field here. We'll add the author to each of our trending links. And the same thing here, I'll pick a representative author from an article, and get rid of that duplicative ID, save it out, and there's our custom trending API. If we head on over to another browser window and load up a direct API call here, we can see that same result set in structured JSON. This is what your app would see when it calls the... Uh, custom API toolkit or the trending API. You can see it's diffbot.com slash API slash trending. That's our custom API. And then I've passed in our temporary token. You, of course, would use 
Your DiffBot token, which you can get at diffbot.com slash pricing, includes a fairly generous free plan. And then the URL I've passed in is mashable.com. Now, of course, I can, once I've got this trending API created, I can now repeat this process for as many sites as I like and use that to extract the what's hot, trending, popular links from just about any site that publishes them. All right, that's our custom API toolkit overview. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a note at support at diffbot.com. Thanks for watching and happy diffbotting.